Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and for today's video we're headed to the world of Anvil Vault Breakers again. Now last week I made a first impressions video which broke down broke down all the basics of this new rogue like but I've been playing it so much I've been streaming and then find myself switching games to Anvil that I thought it deserved a second video a little more gameplay and see if we could beat the boss of the first run of planets. Now, I'm gonna go a little more in depth in character creation as you are going through the game. And again, so far, very addictive, very fun. I recommend it, okay? Now, they do have an official Discord for Anvil that I will put in the description. And right now you can wishlist this game on Steam. That link for the Steam link will also be in the description. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. Breakers. I went over last time that these are the offensive breakers. These are the defensive breakers. And then you've got your strategy that are designed for multiplayer, but still can be soloed. And we are gonna try to do that today because I actually really like the strategy characters. And we're gonna try Shuri, okay? Got her little like Gatling gun, kind of an interesting weapon. And I got the skin that I like the best on her, this kind of red, reminds me of Ant-Man's skin. Now, something that I didn't explain in the last video that I wanted to touch on very quickly are relics. And when you click on relics, once you defeat a planet set, you unlock a basically relic slot. And when you click on this, you can see the relics that you have. So I can have increased maximum rounds, increased damage the closer you are to a target, additional damage to bosses, defensive increase, maximum HP when taking damage, increased max HP, 10% increased melee damage reduction, 2% recovery every five seconds, or increased HP, defense, and attack power when you have 120 points or less. Now what I'm gonna take actually, even though point, risk point is really, really good, we are going to take Sweet Pumpkin Candy, okay? We are gonna equip that, and it is right here. So now it will start with that relic, okay? And as you unlock other planets, you can put in other ones. Now, how you acquire relics. When you are done with the run, there is a chance that one of the relics that you have unlocked will duplicate and then pop up in this screen. So the more you play, the more chance you have of duplicating your relics, okay. I didn't explain that in the last one. Anything else that is basic has already been explained in the last video. Go watch that before you watch this. Let's see what we can do with a strategy character alone. And we are off. Oh, we gotta fight the eyeball thing at the end. If we make it that way. All right. Now, rogue light means you fight, you fight, you fight, kill enemies, and then when you're done, you're done, you start over, try and make it even farther. Pretty simple concept. And at the very beginning, I really don't even care about fighting the enemies because all I care about is gathering resources. And I said this in the last video, blow up all the barrels. Let's get our first upgrade. And what do we want now? Skills that we have. Tornado. We've got a shield. And then we've got this little thing that makes us shoot faster. Okay, so those are the skills that we have. Let's see. Reduces cooldown of the shield. Double power the duration of petrified. Reduces cooldown. We want more healing. We don't have a tank to help us. All right, let's keep going. really interesting weapon. You would think, I mean, obviously it's like, it's a machine gun, but it's like a build-up machine gun. Very interesting, but I do like it. Now, as you're playing, you can drop different weapons. We don't want those. We're gonna stick with the main weapon that she comes with. And again, don't skip the barrels. All right, next. We want incoming Damage reduction, skill power. I like heal scope. Big heal scope. And there's somebody still alive, isn't there? No? Maybe not. 
Oh, activate the defensive turret. Duh. I'm here. Don't worry. There we go. Let's try our little tornado. See how this does. Interesting. Hold out angles with this character. Huh? Alright, moving on. Moving on. Now, this game is multiplayer as well, if you are curious. Uh, on the first set of planets, it is two player. Next set, it's three. Fourth set, it is four. Chill out. We've been playing really slow, so enemies are already getting harder. That's okay. That's fine. We're not worried. All right, shield. All right. From now on, I'm going to save my money, see if we can get back up to 300 and get a weapon upgrade. Very important. So since this is a strategy character, you want to make sure that you take a lot into defense. Now, if I had a friend that was a tank, I would go all into crit most likely and try and make a crit character. All right, you are petrified. Don't expect any more. Base tank. Ooh. Now, normally I would say don't upgrade the weapon you have, okay? Because we like the machine gun, but a gold weapon drop. Blink handgun. We're going to take that. Now we've got a different weapon. And we are not increased damage. 25% are you are from the target. Oh, we love that. Oh, I got to take that. Gotta take that. So now we have a gold weapon. Which is obviously good. We're gonna keep going. It's interesting. This weapon gives me like, I mean, it's a blink, right? You can kind of teleport around. I think that's it. Are we done? Nope, one more. Right, we already got level two heal scope, which is good. Warning, hostile presence. Hostile, okay. Don't expect any mercy. up. Dude, having a gold weapon early on makes a huge difference. First planet, done. Okay. We're at 376. We will save it, even though I really love movement speed. And we'll see what they offer us right now. First boss. First boss. Now again, when you're building out your character, you gotta decide what you wanna do. For this character, I'm going all survivability. So you can see here, gold, homing, handgun. We don't want that because we already have a gold weapon, but if the Gatling gun was gold, I might pull the trigger. Okay? But we're not gonna spend the we're not gonna downgrade our weapon. Maximum HP, yes. Increase attack power by 15 seconds when weapon is not in use. No. Let's go over here. Reduces cooldown, double skill duration. Chest of wind. Increase weapon power by 50% in 
inside the skill radius. Yes, we are going all into survivability. All right, first boss. Can we do it? Yes, we can. The Poly Chopper. Very, very well right now. Still almost full life. Planet done. Right, let's see what we got. Increased damage the closer you are to a target. 10% re 5% of damage recovery. Let's see. So we don't want any of those. Thought that they went aren't good, but increased skill power. Level three heal scope. We're up to level three heal scope. My heal scope is so good. Is 4% chance to recover 1% max HP when attacking. 2% chance to inflict 500% attack power as additional damage. Basically, it's like the leech. It's like a leech. Invincible for 15 seconds when HP is below 30%. That's not a bad one. We like being invincible. Let's go back over here. Is there anything we want? Ran out of time. All right, we are on level three on our way to fight the main boss. We're still hunting for a gold Gatling gun. I mean, I'll take these gold blink pistols. But we're hunting. This game is really fun. Very addictive. Feel really good about having heal scope already to level three. That's good. Oh, what do we got? Ind Indra handgun. Let's see. Oh, I like these ones. All right, we're switching over to our little laser pistols. Uh, increased weapon power on perfect dodge, skill duration. Double power and duration. Take skill duration. Moving up. I really like them. Because they pierce. been very lucky so far. You do not see many gold weapon drops, and we've gotten two. That would have been awesome if they're Gatling guns, but I will take this pistol. So when I'm playing the maps, I normally just cruise around the outside, kill enemies as I'm blowing up the barrels. Oh boy, Mama's home. is really good. All right. 
I feel like if I was playing with someone else, I would go crit. Reloading. Come on. Down. Let's see what we got. Heal scope. Generates a shield equivalent to 10% of your max HP when a skill is used. Kinda nice. 20% at the beginning of a stage. We have so much gold. We will take the shield. Take the shield. So not only are we doing very well right now, we also have lots of gold. about this boss fight. Angles. See the angles? We get both of them. Now, there's a couple things that I'm looking for now. There's a node that um, every three seconds you recuperate ammo. That's a big one. There's a 20% speed increase. That's a good one. A couple of things. Let's see what we got. Heal scope level five. Heal scope maxed. That is the first time I've ever been able to do that. <sighs> That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Charge module. Skill cooldown reduced by 0.5 seconds for each second after a weapon is not in use. Nope, save the money. Max heal scope. Feel good. I feel like we're gonna beat the boss. We'll see. This boss sucks. In like a hard to fight way. But you'll notice that this is this is a strategy character. Which means it's a glass cannon. And I mean I haven't felt close to death this whole time. And I still have my shield that I can put up. Covers life. All right, jumpers. Done. Planet done. Five percent HP when a critical hit lands on a target. Wall HP is 30% or lower. It can be activated every three seconds. All right. And we are moving up. Shuri is doing very well. Planet four. Oh, we get to fight a, maybe another boss before the boss. Broker cannon gold. No, we're not gonna do that. Increased duration of status effects enemies by 50%. Critical strike chance by 10% for 15 seconds when taking damage. That's so good, I've gotta take it. And increase attack speed for 50% for 15 seconds on use. Right. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's a freebie. We got a freebie. Probably like, what are you talking about? This is this weird fourth planet where there's nothing that kills you. At some point, at some point, the enemies will pop up to try and get us, but it's you just kind of shoot. Kind of a silly one. I mean, it's good for players in the fact that it's easy. You get a lot of gold. Come on. But it's kind of boring. Big ones have lots of life. The idea is pretty simple. The longer it takes you to kill these things, it'll keep spawning in harder enemies. You'll see. Don't expect any more. That helps. There they go. 
Super mode. Reload. All right, back to full life. Reloading. We're fine. Ha. We got more gold weapons. Let's see what the homing handgun is. Oh, this thing takes forever. I wonder how much gold we have, though. The coins. Same gold. All right, two big ones left. <sighs> two big ones left. This is a long video. It's a long run. <laughs> One of these boxes has the ammo upgrade. Defenses, survival, increase attack power in defenses for every one second when not moving. Hmm. We're always moving. Number two, max HP, increased defense, additional damage against bosses. All of those are good for the next fight. Increased damage up to 10% the further you are from a, tar from a target. That's a good one. back here really quick. Reroll this. Take that. Right. All right, grab max hit points. It's time. You've all been so patient if you're still here. I appreciate it. We've built out our character. We're sticking with the gold weapons we have. Increased recovery rate from skills by two times. Nice. Final upgrades. Increased damage by 25% the closer you are to a target. We will take it. Generate equip a shield equivalent to 25% of your max hit on a perfectly timed survival. All right, let's refresh. Increase attack power by 25% when ammo is above 50. Increase the 10% or er, increase 10% defense increase for 10 seconds on taking damage. Five, recover 5% 5 HP when a skill hits an enemy target. Take that. Take that, and we're done. That's it. Game time. Sucks we didn't get speed, we didn't get ammo, we didn't get ammo recovery, so. That sucks, but what can you do? Can we make it through Medusa's eye? And if I get one shot, don't laugh at me. We are a strategy character meant for multiplayer. So let's see. Quick for ya.
now the hardest part of these boss fights is the longer you take to kill the boss it's gonna it's gonna bring in those oh, other enemies It has four levels of life, and every level has a different phase. So this first phase is pretty easy. And there's the enemies. So at least we got them in early. You kind of got to ignore the boss and kill these dudes, or they will tear you up. on the boss. We are critting almost every hit. Now, if we would have had extended ammo or ammo recovery, you'd never reload, so it would just be a constant wave. All right, we are almost into the green. And we are in the green, phase two. I don't know if that's an instant kill. I don't want to find out. Like, look on. But its life isn't moving. Its life is not moving. I grabbed the cannon. Look at its life now. Oh, it's so much better. Oh. Exploration failed. We needed that cannon earlier. Okay. Fifth planet, enemy level 59, exploration time 1905. It's 19 minute run. Now, these are all the different relics that I acquired throughout trying to level my character. These are the skill upgrades that I took. And I am now, I'm still level 14, leveling us up through, you know, the season or however you want to look at it. And we are back. So we did not duplicate any relics for our upgrade. And we weren't able to level up to 15 to get any points to level up our character. That is a boss encounter, and that was only phase two. You still had phase three and phase four, but it would appear Lagon's eye took me out. And I wanted to have a Gatling gun, but we didn't find a gold one, and no gold one was ever available to us. But that is Anvil vault breakers and again if you want you can play with two players here three players here and i haven't played a lot of the second one and i'm sure it's going to be three players here so multiplayer new rogue like very addictive very fun but i want to know your opinion is it aaron man you suck at these games why did you die and I want to play it or hard pass, let me know in the comment section below. Like I said earlier, I've been streaming a lot and streaming a lot of Anvil. I'm sure you've heard that I have started a Twitch by now. First link in the description if you'd like to go there and support playing all types of different games, ARPGs, roguelite, roguelike, having lots of fun, give away every single stream, always a good conversation, and we create build guides together. First link in the description. If you haven't had a chance to join the official Action RPG Discord, please do so. 
We're now over 1,200 members, great conversations every day. The idea is to create a gaming community that could jump from game to game together, so you never start the server alone. Link for that Discord is also in the description. And don't forget, Wishlist Anvil, it is supposed to be out this year. And the link for their official Steam is in the description and join their Discord. It is a good group of gamers, developers, and studio. They've been nothing but nice to me. I have nothing but respect for them and the quality product they produce. Okay, this is a very, very long video, probably the longest video I've ever made. Hopefully you were entertained or at least learned something. Aaron, out.